Hello, and in this lesson, we are going to continue building on VPC basics, this time talking specifically about route tables and touching on route table definitions, the function of a route table, creating and deleting a route table, and setting routes in the route table. So to start off, let's talk specifically about some route table definitions. So the simplified definition is, well, the AWS definition is simple enough, so let's just jump right down to it. A route table contains a set of rules called routes that are used to determine where network traffic is directed. And we should note here that your default VPC already has a main route table. So let's take a look at that right here under route table, or you can always click on it here. This is our main route table, and we know that it's our main route table. Under the column here, it says yes for main. Now, before we dive into the various aspects here on the console, let's take a look again conceptually at what the route table does. So in our VPC diagram, we have our internet, we have the internet gateway, which we discussed last lesson, and that's what provides us with access to the outside world for VPC. But then once inside our VPC, we need something to tell the data where to go. So when information comes in from the internet, say a website, a computer in the VPC would have requested that information. So the information that's coming back in has a little packet of information with it that says, hey, this is the computer or this is the server that this information needs to go to. And it's the route table that takes that and says, okay, this is the one that you need to go to. Or maybe there's one over here that you need to go to. But it's the route table that provides the connection between all the various resources within your VPC. And back here under the console, if we look down here next to summary and we click on routes, this is what tells us what's attached to this route table and where things are going to go. So the first thing I want you to look at and concentrate on here is this part right here, which is IGW, which if you haven't already guessed, stands for the internet gateway. So this right here, this connection represents this line right here. This is the connection or the route between the route table and the internet gateway. The other section here, this is the IP address or the CIDR block range of the VPC itself. So this here is basically these lines here that provide the route around the internal aspects or the internal parts of the VPC. Now for demonstration purposes, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's click on our internet gateway here to open up internet gateways in a new tab. And if I clear out the auto sort here, we can see our two internet gateways, the one we have attached to BB-8 and the one that I created in the previous lesson. So the BB-8, that's the one that we have connected. That's the one currently right here in our diagram. What would now happen if I were to detach this from the VPC? Well, let's give it a try and see what happens. So I detached it from the VPC, and basically what's happened now is this. I've detached the internet gateway from the VPC, but the route table is still routing to it. So let's click back and let's refresh the route table page, click on the route table, and click on routes. And now here under this, before where it said active, it now says black hole. So that just means that the route to the internet gateway is just going nowhere. It's going to a black hole. So any information sent through it would just go off into the nether regions. So if we were just to simply reattach this particular gateway, well, we would just go right back to this and everything would work just fine. But for this example, let's now attach the other gateway that I created to the VPC. So now I have another internet gateway here, but we're still routing to the gateway that has been detached. We're still routing to the BB-8 detached internet gateway. So if I now edit this and remove that route and add another route, 
the dropdown is now going to give me the option of adding the Essentials Internet Gateway. I can click Save. All destinations must be a valid CIDR block. So this, I'm just going to put zero and click Save. We now have an active route to the internet through an active gateway. And that brings us right here now to this diagram where this was our default internet gateway that was detached. So we detached it. We attached a new internet gateway to the VPC and we switched the route. So we took the route that was going to this internet gateway. And when we change that here, we changed the route now to the internet gateway that's attached to the VPC. And we have now restored internet access to the VPC. So I just want to make sure that you have a good understanding of what route tables do and how they work within a VPC. Now, there are a lot of advanced features to a route table, but for the purposes of the AWS Essentials course, I just want you to conceptually understand its purpose and how it routes and connects different elements and components of the VPC with each other. So again, to sum up, a route table contains a set of rules called routes that are used to determine where network traffic is directed. And unlike an internet gateway, you can have multiple active route tables in a VPC, and you cannot delete a route table if it has dependencies associated with it. So just to kind of show you what I mean by that, let's create a new route table. I'll call this Essentials route table, route table. And again, we only have one VPC to select from, so I'll click create. And we now have a route table, which is not our main route table and does not have any subnets explicitly associated with that. We'll talk more about that when we get to the subnet sections. But for our default route table, which does have subnets, internet gateways, and things routed to it, if I were to try to delete this right now, it would not work. It comes up and it says you cannot delete the following route table. It has dependencies. It cannot be deleted. But if I were to click on this, delete this route table, because it has nothing associated with it, now it can be deleted. So again, just wanted you to be aware of those two aspects that one, you can have multiple route tables in a VPC, which we're going to use in a little bit. And then also you cannot delete a route table if it has dependencies. So with that, I thank you for watching. We will conclude this video. You may now move on.